Welcome back to VBAR 101. I'm gonna just talk a little bit of the main unit today. Uh, we have all the servo connectors here. Uh, the manual states where to put the servos. You have uh, input and output, but the manual is made for logos, meaning it w only shows for those types of swash plates. So the most common thing is people swapping channel two and three uh, with the servo LEDs and getting very strange configurations because of that. And that's uh, because you should look at the software where to mount each servo for your helicopter. You're gonna come back to that later uh, when we actually look at the software. On the other side on the V-bar we have a sensor, uh, Euro sensor port. We also have the connector port for the control panel. It's up here. And in the same way that uh, it shows how to put it in, it's no, it's not gonna happen anything if you put it wrong. Uh, then we have the USB connector, and then we have some extra ports, and those are for future use. Uh, as I mentioned before in an early episode, the VBAR team actually can uh, reprogram a port to to work for for different things. Uh, in the next firmware version, we will have governor, so I suspect one of those ports will be uh, the RPM sensor for that one.